Hello class, this is your virtual experiment number two and I will just do some a little bit demo of how gonna you perform this uh, one, itong video demo na rin, itong, na rin, itong virtual experiment. Okay? And this, by the way, is from the Chem Collective's virtual lab in exploring oxidation and redox reaction. This is your virtual laboratory experiment in oxidation, redox reaction. And if you want to learn about the quad, the further about the chem collectives, marami din dito experiments na virtual lab na inandak nila such as acids and bases. And if you want to explore this further, I'll send you the introductory video together with the link of this virtual experiment, okay? But first, uh, that's the scope of our, our discussion for today is just the exploring the redox reaction in virtual laboratory and this is it. Okay, but before I discuss this, I will just um, discuss some principles regarding about the discussion about the redox reactions. Now, the question here is, guys, as you can see here that the copper oxidized the zinc strip here with the copper solution. Now, as you can see here, the copper deposited at the surface of the zinc strip. The karon ng substitution of crystal here, ayan. Like substitute sa zinc, ion, and copper. Pero what happens naman, what happens the other way around? Will the zinc solution able to oxidize the copper strip? The answer is no. Okay? Okay, ito, ito, ito. The answer is no. Because ito, dito sa may ating kwan natin na to, ayan, ayan, no? As you can see here, the zinc, the zinc able to reduce the copper. The, uh, the copper so solution able to oxidize the zinc strip. The other way around, the reverse is not. And by the way, this is a copper sulfate solution. I, this is a zinc sulfate solution. And this one is the copper strip. And as you notice here, hindi na oxidize ng zinc sulfate yung ating copper. Samantalang yung copper sulfate natin, is na oxidize nga yung zinc strip natin. So why is that? Dito magigib rise yung ating ito, the hour table. Ayan. Ito yung kanilang standard reduction potential which is eh, na-discuss dito sa electro-analytical chemistry, electro chemistry na kung saan ito yung standard reduction potential na. These are the potential that we able to, pan. ito yung basihan kung kaya ba nila oxidize yung metal. And ito, papataas siya as you go down the table. And kung titignan nyo yung zinc natin, and then the copper, mas mataas yung value ng copper natin, which is 0.16 volts standard reduction potential, compared doon sa amay ating zinc. Kapag mas mataas yung value, it will be able to oxidize the zinc. Kasi nga, lower siya once you combine. But not the other way around, because the zinc has a lower standard reduction potential, than our copper cap than our copper solution so hindi magkakaroon ng oxidation hindi niya kayang i-oxidize so the reverse reaction would be impossible ayan no so if the zinc strip able or if the copper sulfate solution able to oxidize the zinc strip the other way around is not the zinc sulfate let's suppose this is a zinc sulfate solution the zinc sulfate solution will not able to oxidize the copper strip Okay, so doon lang ikaklarify. Now, balik na tayo sa ating demo for the virtual experiment. Now, here, we have glass spheres. Ayan. And nasa demo naman yan, guys, na nandito na isi-send ko sa link. And tools. But our interest lang is the solutions and solids na i-perform natin. Okay? So, siyempre, sa may common example, we have the zinc. Ayan. Apply ka ng zinc. Just select the solid. Ayan. Stack room. And then, uh, ikon natin niya, minimize. Then, solution. The copper nitrate. Ayan, the copper nitrate. Ngayon ang nagagawin niya lang is just click here and then idadrag mo siya dito. Ayan. And then mag-add ka ng specific amount. So let's say 0.5 gram. And bago mo i-pour yaan, titignan ninyo yung temperature changes and the molarity of the species and the mass. You see? Ayan. Dito. So, and then also the color. And ayan, let's pour it. Ayan. And kung mapansin ninyo, the color changes from blue to white. 
ayan, which indicates the chemical chemical change in the reaction or chemical reaction. Then nagbago din yung temperature and yung pH. So therefore, the zinc is able to oxidize, uh, the copper sulfate able to oxidize the zinc salt. Ayan. Now, itry naman natin yung kabila. Yung parang isa diniscuss ko kanina. Ayan. Discuss natin. So, i-record niya sa data ninyo and yung reaction din. I-record ninyo na. Single displacement reaction. Ayan. Discuss ko lang din pala. Ayan. The oxidation reduction in the zinc. Diba? We have the... Ang nangyari doon is a... Anong nangyari? Single this please men reaction ayan so we have a plus bc mayari dyan is is a uh, ac plus b ano mayari or depende rin we have some cases na a plus bc is equals to ano to here here ah uh, a, C, B, uh, B, A, is at ayon, at ayon. Oh, ayan. Disregard na lang muna natin yun. Ah, minsan, ayun pala. A plus B, C. Hindi nagkaaroon ng reaction. Depende doon sa mga standard reduction potential. So, titignan nyo. Ayan, for the case of copper, so, uh, sa ating zinc sulfate, sa ating zinc solid, ayan, which is the solid, this is a metal, and then the copper sulfate solution, ayan, copper sulfate solution, dissolving in a solution. So magpo-proceed sila ng reaction, ang mangyayari. So ayan, AC, this is an anion, this is a cation. So AC, so zinc sulfate aqueous solution plus the magiging metal na ito. So copper solid. Single displacement reaction lang yung nagaganap diyan. And yan yung i-write niyo sa inyong mga lab reports, those the reaction. Ayan. Okay? Ayan, let's try one another. Let's try here to reverse naman. Let's have a copper and then stack room and then minimize here solution. We have the zinc nitrate. Ngayon, pagbalik na rin na natin. Let's prove this one. Okay, ayan. So, let's apply here. Let's have some pa natin. Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, there's no changes. Okay, kapag walang changes pa rin, add pa rin yun ang add. Walang changes, add, add. And kung natatagsya nyo naman, is from the on naman natin sa ating experiment kanina, ay sa discussion, the zinc will not be able to oxidize the copper. And walang nagkayaring color changes. So, ang ilalagay nyo dyan, kapag ganyan yung nangyari, let's say, ayan, let's say, uh, copper, ano yung nangyari na naman? Let's say the copper, solid plus zinc sulfate aqueous solution here is so, all uh, lagay nyo na nr then the reason the zinc sulfate will not able to oxidize the copper because copper has a higher standard reduction potential than zinc when we look at the standard reduction potential table is ito and isisend ko naman yun, nandito siya, this are the appendix 5. Isisend ko rin siya sa inyo. Yan, so ganyan ang gagawin ninyo. And the rest, kayo nang gagawa. And before you on that, you have to take a screenshot for the reaction happen, the before and after. So marami-raming focus yan. Because this is comprised of 5 solids and 11 solutions. So... Ang dami. So, ang magbibigay na lang ako ng one, yung mga specific reactions na gagawin niya kasi ay, ang dami nito eh. Ano. Pero kung pwede niyo na ay suggest na pagtulungan ninyo, paghati-hatihan nito kayo guys and mag-share na lang kayo ng data kasi isang data lang naman ang kiyobin. Magtulungan kayo guys, okay? We're in this together. Kaya, ayan. So, I will end my discussion here guys and the rest uh, is up to you. Uh, the rest ay gagawin nila. Okay, thank you for listening and God bless you all.